Almost 9% of calls made to 988, the suicide and crisis lifeline in Utah, went unanswered, according to data from April and May of this year. New specialist Shelby Lofton asked leaders at the hotline what this means for Utahns in crisis. There are a number of different reasons why 988 calls in Utah are going unanswered. The people behind this lifeline say no one is going to voicemail. A call to 988 can and has saved lives since it launched last year. If someone is in crisis, they are going to get care, period. Recent data from the Kaiser Family Foundation, which does health policy research, shows 8.8% of Utah's 988 calls in April and May went unanswered. The 9% that we're talking about is 9% that come during a spike when all of the lines are tied up and they will actually route to another state. The people inside the call center try to answer as soon as possible. If we can't get to it in 120 seconds or less, then that call will be routed to one of the national backup centers. The callers will be connected to a real human they just may not have access to local resources. 100% of people that call 988 in the state of Utah are getting care. Utah State Senator Daniel Thatcher pushed for the three-digit hotline. He points out Utah's answer rate is better than most states. Utah is doing far more on crisis response than anyone. There are other reasons calls drop. We do see that a large number of calls that go unanswered are because people hang up before our team can even reach for for the answer call button. Lusinski says people may call two or three times before they work up the courage to go through with the call. Folks can be very nervous to make that phone call. It also depends on their reception. Someone's in a place where they have spotty cell service. Um, certainly they, they could drop the call. Those who've worked on the hotline say no one calling for help is abandoned. If there was a single person not getting care, we would move heaven and earth to get the resources necessary to make sure that everyone was being taken care of. Lusinski says call searches can happen at any time and there may not be someone to handle each one. We are like every other service though, uh, susceptible to workforce challenges, knowing that the nature of crisis services is really difficult work. And they are hiring to fill these positions. We'll have a link in this story on our website about those jobs on ksltv.com. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.